Hi, my name is Gwen. Hi, I'm Goobs. I'm Sarah Riker, and I'm an otaku. And I'm an otaku. And I'm an otaku. I think the first thing that really got me into it was Inuyasha. Um, I woke up at night and me being a small child likes to wander about the house at night, um, gets up when I'm like 11 and turns on the TV to Cartoon Network because cartoons all the time. And at that time Inuyasha was playing and it's that episode where Kokomi tries to go back and Inuyasha carries this big boulder and is about to put it on there and then she screams uh, sit several times and he falls to the ground and gets crushed by the rock and I just started laughing really hard. My friend Gwen got me into it. Uh, pretty much we were just, you know, goofing around and stuff, and, well, I was just goofing around, and she was already into it, I don't know how she got into it. And she just, as we started becoming better friends, she told me about it, and I was just thought it was the coolest thing ever. Well, my friend Megan got me into anime, and then my friend Cheyenne got me into cosplay, which is dressing up like anime characters. <laughs> Um, I think, oh Jesus, uh, <laughs> I didn't actually think about it. I think the first one was probably Naruto. It's one of those, it's another one of those starter manga anime things. Like, everyone knows Naruto. There's like the four main ones that people get into. There's Fullmetal Alchemist, Naruto, One Piece, and Bleach. And those are the four animes that pretty much everyone gets into. Those are the first animes, animes that they watch, and mine was Naruto. And... Yeah, I read that one and I was like, oh, this is actually kind of a lot of fun. <laughs> like a lot of people out there, I was a Narutard, and the first one I read was actually one of the Naruto ones. And that's, that's what got me into like, you know, buying a bunch of them. Naruto is about uh, a young boy in ancient Japan, and he's dreaming of become, becoming like a great ninja and just becoming basically immortalized in this great mountain where all these other great ninja were and just becoming the best hero he can be. The first manga I ever read was Junjo Romantica. Um, it's about an author who convinces a student who needs a place to live to live with him so that he can use him as a model for his uh, stories. first anime I ever watched was Pokemon, but really that's everyone's favorite first, first anime thing. That's what everyone gets it into. The first anime I watched actually was when I was very young. It was called uh, Kiku's Delivery Service, and that, that was just... I love that movie. <laughs> it's about Kiki, and as she's reaching adolescence, she wants to become a witch, but in order to do that, she has to go off somewhere. And when she goes over to live there, she gets a job as a delivery girl, and through doing that, she loses her powers, and it's about her trying to get them back. First anime I ever watched was called DN Angel. It was about a boy who, on his 16th birthday, transformed into a person called um, the Dark Mousy, I think, and he stole like majestic like he stole artifacts and they had them burned because they were going to take over the world or something like that oh my favorite one is probably uh Hitali hitalia which is by um hidake's himuria or as the fans call him himapapa and oh, the thing about Hitalia is they he took a bunch of countries, like oh, almost all of them, he's still like personifying them, but he took a bunch of countries and he took that stereotype, like he's from Japan, he took the stereotypes of that country and then he made it that, all those stereotypes into a person. Like France uh, surrenders, he's flirtish, very sexual, Germany is strict, clean things, blonde hair of course and whatnot. It's just, it's so funny. It, like, it's not for everyone, of course. It's very stereotypical and racist, but it's the most funny thing I've ever watched. And it's just amazing. 
My favorite manga so far. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, I would have to say so far that I've read, it would have to be uh, Hey Kalia. My favorite manga is called Pandora Hearts. It's about a boy who um, is deemed unworthy of living and is thrown into an abyss where he meets an unusual girl who drags him out through a contract and he finds out that he's been there for 10 years and with the help of this girl has to fight down an unknown organization called uh, Baskervilles. I guess it would probably be Full Metal Alchemist. My favorite anime would also have to be Italia. My favorite anime would have to be some an anime series called Number Six. Too much? Um, oh god. <laughs> manga or cosplay? But it's a lot of money. More than I would care to tell anyone, personally, but it's probably like in the 400s. Between the cosplays, the manga, the games, just the whole shebang, it's probably been hundreds of dollars. I'd, I'd, I'd go like even as far to say a little over a thousand. Manga, I've spent probably over two thousand dollars. And cosplay wise, I've probably spent around one thousand. was um, the very last day of ninth grade and I came to school dressed as France from Italia. I just kind of threw it together the day before and just kind of put it on. It was fun. One day. The first day I ever came to school dressed up was probably my first year in high school. I was a freshman and it was like the middle of the year kind of and I actually had a lot of subs that day so it was really confusing for everyone. <laughs> but yeah I came in cosplay. I think I was dressed as Dedara from Naruto. I'm pretty sure that was it. Yeah. I was very nervous because I didn't know if people were going to beat me up, I didn't know if I could be called names, or if I was going to get yelled at by some of the staff members. It was, it was really nerve-wracking. school dressed up was probably freshman year and I think I came to school dressed up as a butler from the series Black Butler and I was wearing a tailcoat and had my hair slicked back and yeah butler no a lot of people like got over it really quickly and they didn't judge me or anything like a couple of people were like what are you dressed up as what are you doing is there something going on today and I'm like no I'm just kind of doing this for fun and it was just real easy. I'd have to say yeah, but after a while you just shove it aside and if you don't care, I guess they just get over caring, so they just kind of take their dirty looks somewhere else. For a while, it kind of embarrassed me to do it, but then I kind of just said, what the heck? I'm gonna wear what I'm gonna wear and people can suck it. Uh, well, for one, with um, manga, it tends to be with pictures, so you don't have to imagine it all if you have a cruddy imagination, which is a plus for some people. And it's like, it's like a comic book, but it just covers so many things. It covers love, it covers hate, it covers war, it covers history, like Catalia does. It, it has just, like, think of, okay, 
Think of every TV show you've ever watched, ever. Okay, manga is like that only times two. <laughs> well, in a normal book, just like in manga, it takes you to another world. But with manga, that other world can be visualized in a way uncomparable to a book. With a book, the writer is telling you what to see with words and with description, yes, but with manga, they're giving you an opportunity to see it through their eyes in a way that they, th they think it should be seen. And really, they're not telling the story. The characters are. It's like watching a movie, but with a tree. Well, I have to say that, I mean, I read both. I'm an avid reader. I enjoy reading manga, and I enjoy reading normal books, but I have to say, if you don't want to sit in and, you know, plug yourself down for a three-hour reading session, grabbing a quick manga is pretty easy, and it's fun and entertaining, and it keeps your imagination kind of there, but then it also doesn't take you forever to read it. The first thing is, if you're going to try it, make sure that you have lots of money on hand because that's hard. You, If you buy one of the books, you'll want to buy all of them. And some of these books can have up to, at least up to 80 different things. Like some of them are short and only like 12, but some books can be up to 80. And with each book costing like 20 bucks, that can quickly add up. But like, it's just this amazing thing and you can meet so many amazing people. Like, the costumes, a lot of them are handmade. Um, people draw so many beautiful things for, the, for just these simple books because they just love it so much. It's just the most amazing experience ever. Don't knock it till you try it. I mean, some people out there are like, uh, gross, but really I think a lot of them, there's something out there for everyone.